guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. Um, there was a lot of 200% leaders that came out uh, in the last couple of months. There's a lot of characters um, that I would sort of like to revisit under the 200% leader skill. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this physical angel golden Frieza. Now, I think that this guy was probably one of the strongest TURs on release. He felt very good to me. Um, this is, I think... Just beautiful design by Dokkan. This Frieza stacks defense and seals on his super attack effect. He has dodge and attack debuffing in his passive, right? So he has a medium chance to dodge after he gets hit. Um, and then he also lowers attack to enemies um, attack by 30% for two turns. Very, very strong. He has an instantaneous transformation. We could do it whenever we want to. And then once he goes into golden, he then gets damage reduction um, if your HP is under 50%, and then he also gets a 70% chance to stun the enemy on super attack. It's just, it, it's really impressive, I would say, what this guy looks like. Now, um, we, we've we sort of seen how they've done EZAs recently. To me, this guy is primed. I mean, it's probably, it's not going to be for a very long time that this guy's going to get his EZA, but I just, they can't, like, it's, they're not, they can't fumble this guy. Like, he's going to get the big stats increase, and then he's still going to be stacking, sealing, stunning, dodging, attack debuffing, and damage reduction. Like, he's, this guy is a hundred, like, it's impossible for him not to be good after he EZAs because of how good his kid is, right? So, definitely very exciting. We need to start looking at this, right? Characters who have flaws already after EZA tend to still have these types of flaws. This is a character, though, I, there, this guy doesn't have flaws, right? Like, I think he has a beautifully designed kit. Um, it's just now, you know, two years after his release, and it's, I'm, I'm doing this video, like, the Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, the one we're fighting right here, he just came out. He's in the same time slot as this Frieza uh, from two years ago. It's literally just, like, power creep, right, that pushed this Frieza out. His kit is still really strong. Um, now, there's a couple things with this Frieza. I actually want... I relish this. We actually have all seven links activated. Turn one right here. Frieza does have to get hit first to build up his full passive. But we'll, let, let's just get the um, all seven links activated right here. Um, and then in, in a little bit, we'll, we'll have Frieza get hit and stuff like that. Remember that Frieza is stacking as well, right? Uh, this angel golden Frieza. So, you know, with the stacking and with how strong the Wicked Bloodline team is, you certainly could utilize this Golden Frieza even now to be decent in some difficult stages, right? I bet you the Red Zone Final Form Cooler is, is a really tough boss. I bet you this Angel Golden Frieza could be pretty effective in that fight, right? Um, with the attack, uh, or, excuse me, with the defensive stacking, with his dodge, and with his damage reduction. That's a powerful combo, right? Carnival LR Goku is probably going to be very good for a while because of the fact that he has defense stacking, revive, and he has guard. Like, when you start getting a bunch of these, like, really effective abilities on these characters, they're going to start to look really good. And that's what's going on with this Angel Golden Frieza here. He just has so many abilities that are really strong, right? And it, it's just going to allow him to be very effective. And it's not just, like abilities that are just like strength and shit like that too right like I, I remember when this guy first came out um the golden frieza portion he could do really good damage on release right especially because you can you know he can link with himself so you can get the two of them next to each other and they have all links active basically but he is pretty solid um okay so in this rotation right here we'll have uh everything activated except for tournament of power um, with this int final form freezer right here. This guy does give support as well. Um, if we're going up against a Sun family character. Uh, I guess let's just have Frieza sit right here. We can go ahead and get his passive to activate. Um, there's a couple of different things we're going to want to see here. He's up to 160k defense. But he's going to get this 50% attack and defense for 5 turns after he gets hit. Um, which is a multiplicative buff, right? So Frieza's numbers will be a lot better after he eats this attack right here, right? Um, but yeah, there, there's a bunch of different things we're going to want to see with him. His transformation, the damage he could do. Um, I'd like to do a run where we just stack up with Frieza quite a bit. That that could be good as well. Um, you know, see him, you know, with 800k plus defense or something like that. Um, and of course, you know, we want to 
see him do um, really good damage too, which Frieza uh, does have the ability to do, right? He, he can do super good damage in his Golden Frieza state. Um, all right, let's go ahead and... Oh, okay, well, there's the cord. Nice, we got to get a cord uh, segment in the video at, at some point here. That's fine, though. Um, let's cut, and let's come back. Um, we might go to just one of these, like, super long infinite fights against, like, Bojack or Captain Ginyu or something like that. And let's just stack Frieza for a while. Um, see him get, like, a super high defensive snap. Um, and then, of course, we also do want to get um, uh, the... Actually, well, actually, can we... Can we not kill Goku right here? We, we might actually be able to get through this turn without killing Goku, and then we can just transform with Frieza um, and, you know, sort of see uh, some of his damage and stuff like that. Um, if not, again, we'll, we'll go to one of these these fights that's super long um, and let Frieza um, stack up for a while in there, right? Because, uh, you know, he... Defensive stacking, it really is just a, such a powerful tool, right? Like, you take a look at a character like that STR base form cooler who we've got on the team right here who he is a character, right, where it's kind of like he's there, like, he had his great kit back when he first came out, and now he, they, you know, how did they make his EZA super powerful? They gave him defensive stacking. Well, this Physical Angel Golden Freeze has already got the defensive stacking built into his kit, right? Yeah, we can do this. Okay, this is going to be a really nice turn for him, because we're getting the 50% support from Cooler right here. So, all right, let's go ahead and transform um, into Angel Golden Frieza. Again, this is an incredible condition. There is no condition. You could just transform into Golden Frieza whenever you want. <laughs> All right, so there's our transformation into Golden Frieza. Now he starts to do a lot more damage, right? Because his super attack effect becomes that he gets 100%. He massively raises attack. So that's 100% damage on super attack effect. He gets 120% attack and even start a turn. Then he gets 80% attack and defense and then a 70% chance to stun on super attack, right? And that's, that's where this guy is power crept, right? In base, he's at 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. And then in golden, he's at 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Just for reference, what is SDR base cooler at right here? So, easy 80 is at 130% right there. And then transformed, he's at 200%. But that's along with his huge easy A stats, right? Angel Golden Frieza has pretty, like, his attack, his attack is very high. 17,000 attack is super high. His defense, I guess, is a little bit on the lower end, but it's not really an issue since he's stacking anyway, right? All right, so this is an incredible rotation right here. Um, we're, we have six out of seven links active. We have support from both Cooler and um, this uh, in Final Form Frieza. So let's go ahead and see. that. This is like, you know, pretty quickly we transformed into Golden Frieza, and he should be able to do some decent damage. I mean, this has got to be at least, what, like a 7 milli or something like that, right? Yeah, 7.73, yep, yep. Again, th th remember, this guy is two years old, right? Like, he, he could drop those two years ago. It was super impressive. This Golden Freeze is a good unit. He, like, he's still, his kit is so good that, he, again, I think you could still give him some spot starts and red zone stages, super battle run easies, a bunch of different types of content because of how strong his kit is. All right, guys, so here we are in an event. Um, I would like to at least take advantage of Frieza's stacking and, you know, again, get him just to, like, maybe 800k defense or some high defensive level just to sort of, like, get it on screen, right? So this is our first turn with him. Um, remember that, again, he does have that ability where the first hit can be a little bit uh, problematic, right? He, he takes one hit, then he gets to 50% attack and defense for five turns, and then that also will proc a 30% chance to dodge in the same turn, right? So Frieza can take advantage um, of some dodging as well. Again, that's why I think his kid is just so good, right? This is the type of character that it's much more difficult to for this guy to fall off than other characters, right? Characters that are just like high attack stats, just high defensive stats, without any sort of tech, they could fall off right away. But, you know, this guy is still... You could use him in many places across the game, even two years later. You know, Tech Ultimate Gohan, the same thing with his guard and stacking, right? Like, you should be able to identify a character like this 
and be able to tell if a character is going to age very good or very bad. Um, you know, like, oh, I don't know, physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right, is really good right now. But the second, like, they take another jump in difficulty, he's going to be out of here because he's just basically damaged. It's all that unit is, right? So it's like you want to keep things like that in mind. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, take a hit right here from uh, one of these units. And uh, I, we'll, we'll have this first turn. And then, I'll, again, I'll just go ahead and skip ahead. Um, you know, maybe until we get to, like, turn 10 or something like that. And, uh, we'll, we'll see what damage Golden Freeze is up to. So, you could do 3 million right there. Um, and we'll, again, come back, see, you know, what, uh, that defensive stat looks like after he's had a number of stacks in. Alright, guys, let's see what we're looking like right here. We are on turn 10. Um, and Freeze is up to 427k defense right there on turn 10. Um, here, let me just leave him right here. Um, let me make sure that we don't have that uh, next part of our passive up right here. Um, actually, hopefully we don't get debuffed as well by Raccoon and Goldo. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we did have our passive up. Um, so we're at that, like, 400k defense range. Um, but keep in mind that is without any support, right? Just next to in Angel Golden Frieza. Um, and then also Metal Cooler right there. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and finish off Raccoon and Goldo and Birder and Jason this next turn. Um, and then going into the next rotation, yeah, here, we could just do this, um, and then that will, oh, oh, I'll play this since I did that, whoops. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to play that. I was just going to do the act. Of, it's whatever. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, so now we can just get rid of uh, Raccoon and Goldo right here. Um, and then we'll be able to go ahead and move on to the next phase of the fight um, against one enemy. So that way, um, SDR Cooler will be giving me 50% support type, type buff to Transformation Boost, right? Which obviously, um, Golden Frieza is on Transformation Boost, but he's not on Terrifying Conquer. Remember... One thing to keep in mind with the Tournament of Power Golden Freezes is that a lot of the common villain stuff he doesn't have. Stuff like Big Bad Bosses or the Terrifying Conqueror category. Although, stupidly, no Golden Freezes have Big Bad Bosses. I actually understand why um, Tournament of Power Golden Frieza doesn't have Big Bad Bosses. That makes sense. He's like, he's like an anti-hero or something like that in the Tournament of Power, right? But like, Resurrection of Golden Freezes should have Big Bad Bosses. Hello? Like, uh, yeah. All right, so we're at 479k right here. Um, I think we still have... No, his passive, I think, might actually be wearing out right here. His um, the, the passive he would get uh, from being hit, right? That 50% attack and offensive buff, which lasts for five turns. But that's okay, because we want to transform into uh, Golden Frieza anyway. So remember, Golden Frieza can still be quite powerful right here, right? Um, because you were, if we were below 50% HP, we'd be able to get that 50% damage reduction, which combined on a character that has defensive stacking, imagine we're fighting, you know, again, red zone final form cooler is one of the hardest hitting bosses in the game. We, you know, we get, you know, maybe golden Frieza double supers turn one, then maybe the second turn he double supers. And then on the third turn, we're under 50% HP. We transform with him and he's got his stack defense he still has but now he's got the damage reduction and he still he gets 80 percent defense on super attack so he's over 500k defense right here after he supers potentially with damage reduction right so it's it's just a very tight um and good kit that they gave this this golden freezer right it works very very well so let's go ahead and see this damage we get right here but let me know what you guys think of um, Physical Angel Golden Frieza. I think he's a, he's an outstanding unit. He's got, like, a really good kit. I mean, by now, he's been power crept, right? Just the sort of natural uh, progression of the game. Oh, no, we, we weren't getting the support buff from Cooler because there's two enemies right here, right? But, like, it's just sort of like the natural progression of, of the game has sort of pulled Angel Golden Frieza down a little bit, right? Just because, all, you know, these characters these days... You know, they're having these huge start-of-turn buffs and stuff like that, right? This Frieza, you know, it, it's just like his 
his damage numbers and then like you know like sort of like the raw defensive ability i guess is just not really as high as many other characters right i mean you could see right because if we take a look you know let's look at this guy's passive right where you know he's now two years old you right we see that now let's look at like in angel golden freeze as easy right you can see that or you know let's take a look at what lr metal cooler is looking like right like that's the difference between you know a character you know that came out a couple of years ago and then like a newer character right the the sort of power creep it, it's always going to be a thing right they're not going to drop a character that's going to be dominant for years and years and years uh, tech ultimate gohan to me is like a super one in a billion exception uh because i mean they just flat out messed up with him right giving him guard plus greatly stacking is like it's just a ridiculous combo um but this angel golden freeze you know you can still go into super battle road stages battlefield easy a's um and he can put in some work i mean this unit is not bad by any means i think the extra 200 percent um that he can get to stats could allow him to to put up some decent numbers as well um on a lot of these rotations and stuff like that right so uh let me know what you guys think of angel golden frieza this physical angel golden frieza um again i, I like him I, I still think that you know we we could probably find some spots where he could be useful in some of these really tough stages easement right now yeah 400k defense start of turn right there with again 80 percent on super and then he'd have the potential to get the 50 percent damage reduction um if we were under 50 percent hp right just a very very powerful unit um, the 200% definitely, I think, makes him look a little bit better. But, you know, he, of course, you know, the Wicked Bloodline team has just gotten so crazy now, right? With with all the massive buffs of these crazy LRs and stuff like that. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think of Physical Angel Golden Frieza under the 200% leader skill. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.